The waiver claim process uh, kind of ironed itself out in the NFL. Uh, the Browns did put in a claim. Wasn't a wide receiver, wasn't a defensive tackle, was not even a tight end. The Browns claimed quarterback Kellen Mond on waivers from the Minnesota Vikings. Since he was claimed on waivers, he has to be part of the 53-man roster. That means they had to get rid of somebody from the 53-man roster, and they decided to release Isaac Rochelle. A Rochelle social media guy says he's uh, highly disappointed, doesn't know how this will play out, uh, but he will show his gratitude for all the coaches at the Browns. Browns are interested in bringing him back to the practice squad. He also has other interest um, among the teams that are interested in him, reportedly the Eagles, who saw him in those joint practices. All right, let's welcome in Jeff Lloyd from the Lockdown Browns podcast. Um, I guess I thought a, a young quarterback was possible, Jeff. Um, I thought a wide receiver or a tight end or a defensive tackle probably made more sense. I think that was probably the thinking from everybody. Um, Kellen Mond, uh, you know, coming from Minnesota, so it's not like he was there while Coach Stefanski was there, that they have a relationship. Um, but obviously something maybe they wanted to get a look at. I mean, you, you're you always looking at every possibility for your roster. Maybe he is somebody they feel that could be a long-term number two to Deshaun Watson. Maybe he's somebody they just want to get a look at for the next week or so. I mean, you know, he could end up, you know, getting released, and then maybe you try to stash him after week one on your practice squad. Um, there's something there, six foot three, two hundred and nineteen pounds. You know, he got a decent arm. He was pretty productive at Texas AM, showed well at the senior bowl in his time down there. Um, you know, I, I think we all get so accustomed to these are what the needs look like. And we've gone through this for years. Defensive tackle looked like a need, and it's looked like a need for years. We talked about this just the other day. Wide receiver, I think there's probably guys they're interested in. But the other thing is, is getting anybody in here now, is that going to be having anybody immediately ready to contribute against Carolina? That's probably not the case. You brought back two wide receivers to the practice squad. These are guys that are familiar with your offense. They know your offense. Um, the, the dust isn't settled here. And for Isaac Rochelle, we actually recorded this morning. We really thought on that final 53, six defensive ends felt like an odd number where somebody was going to maybe be in trouble. Um, what it tells me is that maybe Chase Winovich is closer to returning than you know we were aware of, missed all the preseason games. Uh, he brings one thing in that room um, that nobody else does. Everybody else kind of built the same, six foot four, six foot five, two seventy five, two eighty. Um, you know, Winovich a little bit of smaller, just a straight kind of speed rusher, um, similar to what they had last year with Tack McKinley. Um, they were invested enough to trade uh, you know a player for him and Mac Wilson in the offseason. I think they want to see what they have in Chase Winovich. Um, for Isaac Rochelle, of course, all eyes are getting to a NFL 53, um, but it's not terrible to have a home waiting for you, you know, with the Cleveland Browns, who, if you were on the practice squad, could get called up at any time with a veteran who had a strong summer. And I'm not surprised some other teams might be interested in bringing in Isaac Rochelle.